this is Mindy McIntosh Shutter from Mindar the Gardening Gnome and Dirt to Dining University. And today I'm going to teach you how to grow cantaloupes vertically. Now what you're going to need is you're going to need two stakes and you're going to need a garden string or you can use old fencing in this space, something for your cantaloupes to grow up. You can actually use a store-bought type of trellis material that if you like that, look much better than the homemade version. But what I'm gonna teach you today is just a very basic type of vertical gardening. It takes two stakes. I've attached it to this raised bed and I've ran garden twine in between the stakes and I've began to pull my vines up. Now it's much easier to teach a cantaloupe to grow vertically if you start when you plant seeds and you start with this structure. And I started a little bit late on this plant, but it can still be done. And when you pull up the plant material, you may be wondering what holds the plant material onto the string. And it's these little tendrils here. And this is mother nature's string by which she allows plants to attach to things. And you can just take these tendrils and wrap around the string and that's all that is required as far as teaching the plant material to grow vertically. Now, what do you do about the fruit? If you grow cantaloupe vertically, you're running a chance of the cantaloupe getting so heavy that it breaks off from the stem. But I have two techniques to show you that will help avoid this problem. One technique is actually making a sock for your fruit out of and this happens to be a knee high, but if you're using pantyhose, you would just essentially cut the foot part off. And I'm going to put it over this large cantaloupe. Now what I like about this technique is the fact that this stretches as the cantaloupe grows. It breathes and it dries very quickly so you don't have to worry about your fruit rotting. Once you have it in the sock, then you can tie it to the string with the nylon or you can attach it to the string with some type of garden twine. The other technique utilizes an old t-shirt and it's where you create a hammock for your fruit. And what you're going to do is you're going to tie one end to the string that you want to attach your fruit to. And then you're going to tie the other end. You're going to open your hammock out. And then you're going to place your fruit in the hammock. Again, this technique would have been much better if I had started doing this when the fruit was young. And then your fruit can grow as large as it needs to grow. The material can breathe and it will not cause any type of rotting problem. So that's all there is to growing cantaloupes vertically. So until we meet in the garden again, this has been Mindy McIntosh Shutter from Mindar the Gardening Gnome and Dirt to Nining University.